easing mortgage and other lending rates, but the mortgage rates most particularly on home buyers, and they're not passing on higher yields to savers. Kayla Tausche has that part of the story. She's busting a money myth today. But first to Diana Olick on how rising rates are affecting home buyers. Diana? rates are never a good thing during a housing recovery, but especially today when borrowers are facing tighter underwriting and higher fees from mortgage insurers, including the FHA. Now, I did a little math for you so you can get the whole picture. If you're buying a home today, let's take the median home price in May from the realtors of $208,000. Put 20% down and get a $166,000 loan. Back in early May, when rates were at 3.5%, you were paying $745 a month. That's not including insurance and taxes. Bump the rate up to 4.5%, and you're paying $841 a month, a 13% jump. This affects not just the amount of home you can buy, but it also affects what you can qualify for, given today's strict debt-to-income levels used by lenders. Loan officer Dan Green of Waterstone Mortgage says his refi volume is slowing, but there are still millions of homeowners with rates around 6% who could lower their payments. For buyers, he says, most don't realize how fast rates are rising. He says today the 30-year fixed is pricing near 4.75% with no points. And rates are rising just as home prices are rising. Yes, we're still well off the highs of the housing boom, but we are seeing in some local markets double-digit price increases from...